starting with the name of Allah Almighty, who is the master of the day of judgment, and a bundle of the Ruth Islam and beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Students, exercise 5B Mathematics, Class 6 Upset Students, and New Slippers Mathematics D1. And question number 6 is, if K is equal to P plus 2Q over 3, then find P when K is 7 and Q is 9. So students, I will replace the values of K and Q in this formula and then we will find the value of P. Now students, first we have to write the formula and that formula is K is equal to P plus 2Q over 3. Now students, in place of K, the value of K is 7. So in place of K, 7 will be written. Then we will put equal sign and P we have to find. So P is written as it is plus 3 plus sorry plus 2 into Q and the value of Q is 9. So I will write 2 into 9 over 3 and then we will simplify it. So putting the values of uh, K and Q in place of K I will write 7 is equal to P we have to find plus 2 into the value of Q is 9, so I will write 2 into 9 over 3. Now students, we have to find the value of P. And if you look carefully, there is a single denominator that is 3 on right side. We will transfer this 3 to other side and it will multiply because it is dividing. So it is written as 7 multiplied by 3 is equal to P plus when 2 will multiply with 9, 2 9s are 18, we will get 18. Now students, multiply 7 and 3 and when we multiply 7 and 3, 7 3s are 21. And this 18 is plus on right side, when we transfer it to the side it will become minus, minus 18 is equal to P. Now students, on the left side there are two numbers, one is positive and other is negative. When there are two numbers having different signs, we have to subtract the smaller number from the greater one and then put the sign of greater. So 18 is smaller and 21 is greater, we will subtract 18 from 21 and that will be 3 and as 21 is greater than and it is positive, so we need not to put a positive sign with uh, 3 because it is understood that if there is no sign with 3 that it is positive, so the value of P is 3 that we have to find, sorry, the value, uh, the value of P is 3. Now students, question number 7 of same exercise is, if u is equal to pi into r plus h, find r, we have to find the value of r, when u is 16 whole number 1 over 2, in place of u we will write 16 whole number 1 over 2, and the value of h is 2, and the value of pi is to be taken as 22 over 7, it is understood that the value of pi is 22 over 7, are we change 22 over 7 in decimal then it will be 3.142 but in this question we will put value as 22 over 7. So first I will write the formula that is u is equal to pi into r plus h. Now students we will replace the values of u, h and pi and the value of u is 16 whole number 1 over 2. So I will write 16 whole number 1 over 2 in place of u. The value of pi is virtual 22 over 7. So in place of pi, I will write 22 over 7 into r students we have to find. So r will be written as it is. Whereas the value of h is 2. So in place of h we will write 2. Now students if you think carefully, 22 over 7. I mean to say 22 is multiplying with these uh, numbers and 7 is dividing so when we transfer this 7 to other side it will multiply and when we transfer 22 to other side it will divide and we will change this mixed number this mixed number into improper fraction and for this we will multiply denominator with the whole number and then sum of the numerator so when 2 will multiply with 16, 2 16 are 32, you can multiply it as 16 multiplied by 2, 2 6 are 12, 1 carry, 2 1 are 2 and 1 3 and then sum of 1 
and we will have 33. So when we convert this mixed number into improper fraction, we will have 33 over 2. And student, this 7 is transferred to the left side and it will multiply. And when we transfer this 22 to other side of equality, it will divide. And on the right side, there will be only R plus H because we have transferred 22 over 7 to other side. Now students, if you think carefully, 22 and 33 both are the multiples of 11. So both numbers can be cancelled with the table of 11. 11 twos are 22 and 11 threes are 33. Now we will have 3 over 2 multiplied by 7 over 2. So it is written as 3 over 2 multiplied by 7 over 2 is equal to R plus 2. Now students, 3 numerators will be multiplied as well as denominator will be multiplied. So we will have 3 multiplied by 7 means 21 over 2 to the 4. And students, this 2 is plus on right side of equality. When we transfer it to the left side of equality, this 2 will become minus and written as minus 2 over 1 is equal to R. Now students, we will take LCM of 4 and 1 and keep in mind that the LCM of 4 and 1 will be 4. So it is written as 4. And when we divide 4 LCM, that is 4 by the denominator of the first fraction, that is 4. So when you divide 4 with 4, 4 ones are 4. And now the quotient will be multiplied with the numerator of the fraction and numerator is 21. And when we multiply 21 with 1, we will have 21. And the sign between the two fraction is minus, so I will put minus here. Now LCM 4 will be divided by 1. When we divide 4 by 1, 1 4s are 4. Now the quotient is 4. And this 4 will be multiplied with 2 and 4 2s are 8 is equal to R. Now students subtract 8 from 21 and we will 13. We will have 13 over 4 is equal to R. Now students divide this 13 with 4 to convert this improper fraction into mixed number. And I will write it as 13 divided by 4. 4 3s are 12. Now subtract 12 from 13 and we will have 1. Students quotient is the whole number. So it is written as 3 whole number. Remainder will be the numerator and divisor is always denominator is equal to R or R is equal to 3 whole number 1 over 4 and that we have to find. Students question number 8 of same exercise is if V square is equal to U square plus 2 GS then find as when V is 25 u is 12 and g is 10. So students, first I will write the formula and the formula is v square is equal to u square plus 2 g s. Now I will replace the values of v, u and g and as we have to find. So in place of v, I will write 25 and its square is equal to u and the value of u is 12. So it is 12 square plus 2 into g and the value of g is 10 into s that we have to find. Now students, we have to find the square of 25. Square means we have to write 25 two times and then multiply. And when we will multiply 25 with 25, we will have 625. But as you are the student of class 6, so you must use working to multiply 25 with 25. Again students, we need, uh, we have not to multiply 25 with 2. This here means that we have to write 25 two times and then multiply 8 and when we multiply 25 with 25, 5 5s are 25, 2 carry, 5 2s are 10, 10 plus 2 12, then put the cross below the unit digit and then multiply 2 with 5, 2 5s are 10, 1 carry and 2 2s are 4 and 1 5 so students five, sum up all the digits 5 2 6 and it is 6 25 and now students we will put equal sign and then here is the square of 12 
when we take the square of 12, it will be 144, but use working to find the product of 12 square means 12 multiplied by 12, 2 2 is 4, 2 1 is 2, then put the cross below the unit digit, now uh, multiply 1 with both the digits, 1 2 is 2, and 1 1 is 1, then sum up 4, 2 plus 2 4, and 1 as it is, so it will be 144 plus multiply 2 and 10 and when we multiply 2 and 10 we will get 20 as now students transfer this 144 to left side and it will become minus and written as 625 minus 144 is equal to 20 as now students subtract 144 from 625 subtract 4 from 5 and we will have 1 then we have to subtract 4 from 2 and 4 cannot be subtracted from 2 so we will take 1 carry from 6 and it will become 12. Now subtract 4 from 12 and we will have 8. As we have taken 1 as carry so here will be 5 and now subtract 1 from 5 and we will have 4. And 20 is multiplying with s when we transfer it to the side it will divide is equal to s and left over will be s. Now students, divide 481 with 20, 22's are 40, subtract 40 from 48, 8, and then drop the next digit, that is 1, 24's are 80, subtract 80 from 81, and we will have, students, quotient is, uh, quotient is always whole number, so 24 whole number, Remainder is numerator and divisor is denominator. So the value of S is 24 whole number 1 over 2. We can write S on left side as S is equal to 24 whole number 1 over 20. And that is the value of S that we have to find. Students, question number 9 of the same exercise is if a over b minus d is equal to 2c over b, then find c when a is 3, b is 4 and d is minus 5. So I will replace the values of a, b and d and then we will find the value of c. So for this first I will write the formula that is a over b minus d is equal to 2c over b. Now students replace the values. The value of a is 3. I will write 3 over the value of b is 4 minus the value of d is minus 5. So students, this minus is of the formula and the value of d itself is minus 5. So it is written in bracket is equal to 2c. The value of c we have to find. So it is written as it is and the value of b is 4. So it is written as over 4. Now students, 3 over 4. When this minus and this minus multiply, it will become plus. 5 and it is written as 5 over 1 is equal to students in uh, right side 2 and 4 are in the fraction form so 2 and 4 can be cancelled with the same paper 2 1 the 2 2 2 the 4 so it is written as c over 2 now students take the LCM on the you know, of the denominators on the left side that is 4 and 1 so 4 will be the LCM when we divide 4 with 4 if we divide 4 with 4, 4 1 are 4 means quotient is 1 and then this 1 will multiply it with 3 and we will have 3 plus when we divide 4 with 1 students, when we divide 4 with 1 then 4 will be the quotient and this 4 will be multiplied with 5 and 4 5 are 20 is equal to C over 2. Now students sum up both the numbers 3 plus 23, 3 plus 20 and we will have 23 over 4 and students this 2 is dividing on right side when we transfer it to the side it will multiply and written as multiply by 2 is equal to c 2 1 the 2 2 2 the 4 and we will have 23 23 over 2 is equal to c now students divide 23 with 2 to convert this improper fraction into mixed number 2 1 the 2 drop the next digit that is 3 again 2 1 the 2 subtract 2 from 3 and we will have 1 
सो इलेवन इज द क्वेश्चन एंड इट इज रिटर्न एज होल नंबर वन इज रिमाइंडर सो इट विल बी न्यूमिनेटर एंड टू इज द डिवाइजर एंड दैट विल बी डिनोमिनेटर एंड दैट इज इक्वल टू सी और सी इज इक्वल टू इलेवन होल नंबर वन ओवर टू एंड इट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ सी सो स्टूडेंट्स इट्स इनफ फॉर टूडे मे अल्लाह आल माई डी ब्लेस यू ऑल द टाइम